There I am. Okay. Hi, Ashley. I'm sorry. I'm so nervous. Don't be. Just talk slow. What? How do I pronounce your name? Malaysia, like the country. Oh, Malaysia. Welcome, Malaysia. Hi. Oh, my gosh. I want to go live with you forever. <laughs> okay. What is your question, honey bun? Okay, it's this guy um, that I just met, and, like, he's older than me, of course, and he's more well off than me, which is fine because I'm, I, I'm all for it. But I like him, but at the same time, I've never been one to really, I'm not going to say go after, but, like, express my like to guys after being turned down in the ninth grade. I've never really, like, expressed much like to a guy first, but I really like him, and... I don't know. I just don't know what to well, do. Wait, I said you guys were dating and he's well off. I thought that's what you said from the top oh, of no, our conversation. We actually just okay. do business together. I'm a business owner. Okay, yeah, do business. And has he hinted that he's interested in you? No. <laughs> okay, so no, we don't chase men, babe. We chase okay. dreams, but not men. And I say that with love. I would want him to approach you so then you know for certain that he's interested in you, mm -hmm. you know? And then that's how the relationship starts. Because the thing is, if you chase him, how you start it is how it's going to end and how the relationship is going to be. So you're oh. always going to have to reach out. You're always going to have to plan. Does that make sense, Malaysia? Mm -hmm. oh, and wow. he has never hinted or tried to to like flirt or anything have you said anything to him yet have you said anything no it's just strictly business all right okay and he hasn't tried to flirt or anything like that i mean he's nice to me oh, okay <laughs> but i don't he's know if that's flirting and he's a single man mm -hmm. how long have you guys been working together how many months uh we just started. <laughs> how, yeah. how, how much time? A month? Weeks. Not even oh, a month. Week. Oh, you are crushing hard. You really like him. Yeah. It's a thing. I was like, you know, Malaysia, you really don't know him like that. But he does look good and he's really cool. <laughs> but I just realized I was kind of like feeling like, okay, well, I'm not going to say anything because I I don't want to seem desperate. Of course, I'm not. A, I've always been taught don't chase a man, you know, and I've done it even though I've been taught that I've did, I've did it in the past. I can admit that. And it, it's never worked out. I'm at the point in my life now because I'm 27. I want to actually experience a real adult relationship. Like, I don't I don't know how to really put myself out there at all. I just kind of know how to just be pretty into myself. Okay, and how are you showing up to work? Because I think if a man is interested in a woman, and it, this is for all the Malaysians watching who may be in a situation, when a man is interested, he, there's no hesitation. There's no such thing as intimidation. There's no, oh, I don't think I should say something. If they want you, they are coming after you. So how are you showing up to work? How are you putting yourself together? Oh, because we live in different states, we only meet like over the phone. Um, I, I usually try to like dress nice and I'm, I'm very sweet. I don't say too much. I make sure because he actually is. He um he's helping me grow my business. I try to le at least look pretty because I know for a woman looking nice is very important. You know, it's kind of like our currency in a sense. I, for sure, I will want him to make the first move. I don't want you to chase him. Like, I would for sure want him to make the first move. You you seem a little disappointed. I can tell by your face. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not disappointed at all. I'm just trying not to be nervous. <laughs> I'd rather hear that because I'm a firm believer in sound advice, sound teaching. So I wouldn't want to get myself out there and embarrass myself when I know I'm worth so much more than like running after a man. And even though I have a crush on him, crushes eventually go away, obsessions fade. So, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, so I say just give it time and see if he kind of shoots his shot, you know, and then you'll know. Mm -hmm. 
I just, my biggest thing, Ash, is I don't want to, I sometimes feel like because I'm not up there with him, I just be like, okay, should I feel bad because I'm not up there? Sometimes people say date where you are. I mean, but you just said our looks or the way we show up. Mm -hmm. And I think if we're well put together, it sounds like you have a job. You're 27 years old, which is prime time. If you are put together, you will attract them. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. want you to think if this man is everything you dream of and you like him, imagine how many other women like him. Yeah. Imagine a long list of line of other women. Would it, and I hate to say it like this, and I, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not saying you have to compete. But if we are competing and I am in a race, how am I showing up? Not just looks all across the board. Mm -hmm. All across the board. Okay? Am I working on myself, my body, my skin, my hair, mm -hmm. my mindset? Am I, do I have a routine? Those kind of things. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's another reason why I kind of just sit back and like I'll have a crush on somebody and never say anything because I'm always trying to work on me. If I feel like, okay, this guy's a catch, you know, I'm not the type of woman to chase guys because I'm so quick to be like, okay, well, no, I'm not going to compete. And that's probably why I don't date because I don't even try to compete. I don't try to really put myself out there. I rather just. And I realize I can't do that all the time, like stay to myself a lot because it's it's comfortable, but I don't want to be alone anymore. And I feel like that's okay for me not to want to be alone, but I just don't know where to start. But my lady, you're 27. It's prom time. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect time for you to be working on yourself and getting out there. Okay, you're not 37. You're not 47. If you really decide to get up in the morning every single day before you go to work, you do your skincare, you go to the gym, you set some goals for yourself, you check them off, you put yourself first, you get a, just a little bit more selfish, then you could really level it up. You're a cute girl. You need to level up and really get your head in the game. Yeah. If you do that for the next 60 days or the next six months, by summer, you can be a completely different woman. And trust me, you won't even be attracted to that guy on the call anymore. There will be someone better. Because as you level up, whatever you think that's so handsome and shiny or beautiful or amazing, once you get it, you're like, oh, that's all it was? Wait, now that I'm leveled up, that don't even seem that great. I thought that was the bee's knees. Now that I'm here with you, fine, 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 fine. I got the abs, okay? Mm -hmm. My body is right. Honey, the, the, the options done, done opened up. That's how I want you to think about it. This is okay. for men and women. Men and women who are watching on live, because I know men watch as well. When you level up, you open up your options in a big way. Mm -hmm. Not just relationships, friendships, just your life opens up. And at 27 to all the 27, 25 who are watching, y'all are too young, too young to be in your head. Get off of these apps. These apps got you comparing yourself. You have anxiety. You have depression. You don't want to leave your house. You should be standing on tables, wearing a size four and your, your high heel shoes, talking about thank you next, pass the champagne. That's the energy you should be on, Miss Malaysia, at 27. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I say this for love. So it's time to level up. That's what I want you to do, Malaysia. I want you to level up. I want you to get your head in the game. Okay, so. Can we do that? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so excited. And you are like. You're my fave. Oh, thank you, You're Malaysia. My fave. Thank you. Okay, and come back and update me. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Whenever I talk, I, I don't want you guys to take it personal. I want to be honest. I'm just being honest because oftentimes what happens, especially for women, we get coddled. We get coddled so much. 
if more people in our life were honest with us, I think we would get to where we want to faster. This is not just about dating. This is not just about men. I'm just saying in general, in general, I'm just saying, I want you guys to be a better woman for you first. For you first. You are so young. The girls are coming up here at 21. 21. 21. I kept a heel on 21. I kept heels on at 21. I kept heels on at 21. And a dress and a little bit of makeup. What's happening? Now it's this social media anxiety, depression. Y'all are in your head too much. Too young. From 21, 22, come on. Come on, babes. Milkshakes should be bringing the boys to the yard. You barely need makeup. I always say this at 21, 25. Barely need makeup, barely need a bra need to work out don't have cellulite don't need to do a five to ten step skincare routine at that age so imagine if you just tried a little bit imagine if you tried just a little bit imagine if you went to the gym just a little bit you put on lip gloss just a little bit you open up your options just like when you go out into the world and you see men, if they, this man looks more presentable or he appears to have more money or he appears to be more successful, that's the one that you want. If he appears to be a little bit more fit, a little bit more handsome, that's the one you want. That, that's the way men look at things. That's the same way men look at things. Well, this girl, she goes to the gym. This girl, she appears to take care of her body and her skin. This girl seems like she got a little attitude. Like, I, I got to come to her correct. It's the same thing. Too young. Just too young. Too young. Get off the phone. Go touch grass, as the people say on TikTok. Get off the phone. Get out of your house. Okay? The girls are not even wasting their, their, their youth anymore in relationships. Y'all wasting your youth in the house. In the house. On the phone. Life is passing you by. Uh-huh. Welcome in. Hello. Get out there and live. Get out there and experience life. Get out there and talk to people so you don't have social anxiety. Go to an event. Go bowling. Go to an art class. Go sit at a nice restaurant bar by yourself so you don't have social anxiety, even if your friend can't make it. Thank you, Sophie. Y'all scared to even say good morning to someone. Good morning. How oh, are they talking? To Come on, baby loves. We have to work on that. We have to work on that. It always takes liquor courage for you guys to speak. I don't like that for y'all. I don't like that. It shouldn't take liquid coverage, okay? You're young, fly, beautiful, and you have a lot of potential. Let's get it together.